Okay, Flannery Town is back, and now I'm back in my apartment. Today I'm going to make Wiener Nougat, and that is a really simple kind of candy to do. It's just kind of expensive to do, because you need both chocolate, almonds that have been cut like this. You can buy this in, like, any store, because, well, I don't do this by myself. I buy this finished. And we also need nougat, which can be really expensive if we want a really fine one. This is sort of a cheaper one though. And you need chocolate, and my chocolate is sort of still expensive because it's real Belgian chocolate. And the the how much you need is about 100 grams of almonds, which is about three and a half ounces, and 250 grams which is about 8.8 .8 ounces of nougat, and then 125 grams, which is about 4.4 ounces of dark chocolate. You can also use milk chocolate, but I think it gets more aroma and it gets so much better in flavor when you use dark chocolate, which is why I'm leaving it there. Uh, the reason I have the almonds in a frying pan is because these, these are going to be fried for a bit in the frying pan, of course. And that is going to be poured, put into the melted chocolate and nougat. And I'm going to put this on the stove, starting with that. And you have to be very careful with that because it starts out really smooth, but in the end it just goes poof, and it can, it can, it can become really well. It can be burned. Excuse me. And we also want to melt the nougat and chocolate, and I'll come back to you when it's all done and put it all together. And that's uh, Yes. Yeah. And we're back. The nougat has melted and the chocolate is melted and I'm going to start with pouring the chocolate into the nougat and mixing that together. I look something like that. And due to the dark chocolate, the whole mixture has gotten a bit darker. It looks so delicious, <laughs> at least according to me. And we have the almonds here. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but it has gotten some color now, and it smells just wonderful. So we're going to pour this into that. Let's see if I can do this from this side. <laughs> well, Like that. Let me just mix this together too. Yeah, it looks like this. So we're going to pour this into this. Uh, this is just a normal, regular square plastic bowl kind of thingy. And we're just going to pour this into that. I covered it just well. I use this bowl thingy every time I do this because I think the winner nugget gets just the white right size when I do it in this. And now, here's the top, we can't cut it like this. We're gonna let this cool, and either you do it like putting it out on the balcony if it's cold, or you put it in the refrigerator. Excuse me, I can't say that word. Um, yeah, that. You put it away to cool and make sure that it really gets cooled off. And, and well, I come back to you when mine is, co is cooled off. And we're back. Now it's cooled off, and we're just gonna make sure that it gets out of this. 
bone like that. And here you have the green one again. We are now going to put this into even pieces. And I learned this method from Martha Stewart's show. Uh, you cut it like middle, middle, middle all the time, and then you get equal pieces. So we're going to put in the middle here, and cut it like that. And then we're going to cut it. Actually, I think. What would I think? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, middle again. I just forgot how I usually cut this, so now I remember. Like that. And we have four pieces. I'm going to turn this one and cut it in the middle again. Like that. And then now I'm going to cut this into three pieces. Like so. And so. And then this side too. Like that. And here we have the new bean nugget. And this is so fantastic, but just yummy. It's also my friends. This is the piece of candy that actually disappears the fir first when I make candy. Yeah, I love this. And it's just as wonderful every time. Good luck.